Hey, what's up? Last time we were able to create this login screen and we have a link to navigate to the register screen. So this time I want us to create the same screen for the registration. So looking at our API, we need to have a way to supply a username, first name, last name, email, and also the password. So that means that we're going to need to have the kind of a layout that's quite similar to this. So what we'll do is we are going to duplicate this just to save some time. Then I'm going to rename this to sign up. Okay, so in here, this we rename it to register, register component. All right, so this time we're going to be going to the login. So down here on our info text, we're going to be going to the login. Then this should have something like login. Okay. Make sure this is capitalized. Then this, of course, is gonna be already have an account. All right. So once we have this, we want to hook it up with our screen. So in our screens, I'm gonna scroll down here to screens. Then we have register. So we will be returning the register component. So now we can have register like this. Okay, and save. So now if we click register, you see that we come here. Okay, so let me rerun the app because it's not really updating here. I guess maybe there's an issue in the metro. Let's check. Okay, let it come up. And we go to the login. When we click register, you see we come to this registration screen. You can click here and go back, click here and go here. So let's add some more inputs on this one. So we can go now to our register, our sign up. And like we said, we need the username. So here we can change this to create a free account and save. So we want the username, the first name, last name, and also the password. So let's just duplicate this. So this is gonna be first name, enter first name. Then this is gonna be last name. Enter last name. Then this is gonna be email. Enter email. Then here we this should be enter password. I guess we also need to change it to the other side. Then we can save it, and we have our inputs. And notice that we have our scroll view now it's working because the text is can't fit on the screen at once okay so for the password this is good we still need this kind of functionality now i guess that's gonna do it for now because the screen is looking fine so in the next one i'm gonna come up we see how to work with state and also validation for these inputs so thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next one bye